Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the Hockey Think Tank podcast brought to you by the HockeyThinkTank.com, a website for all players, parents, and coaches to go to get a little bit of education and a little bit of inspiration regarding the greatest game on the planet. What an episode we have for you guys here today. Are you excited to be a little bit more educated? Are you excited to be a little bit more inspired? Because we got something. We got something, everybody, that we're finally ready to let the cat out of the bag with. We're finally ready to unveil this little secret that we've been kind of teasing for the last, what, three weeks or so, three, four weeks or so. And it is something that I... I can't even tell you how pumped I am to get this going. When I started the hockey think tank as a little passion project, what was it like five, six years ago now? This is what I had in mind. This is what I thought the hockey think tank was going to be. And it's taken a little bit of while to get there, taking some twists and turns of taking some jobs, (laughs) had a, had a couple kids, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on at the end of the day, but finally we are ready to tell you guys what we've been up to and what we've been working so hard to do. But before we do get to that, let's bring on the talent of the podcast. The one Jehu Jeffrey Lavecchio Vex, my Zoolander man, my male model. How are you doing today, brother? Well, I had a snow day today, so pretty excited about that. You know, I haven't How do you had have one a of those. snow day when you don't have kids. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Uh, because <laughs> I, I'm the coach, uh, the off ice coach for TPH TPH St. Louis, oh, and so okay. I was on the phone with Phil McCray last night talking about some stuff we we're gonna do for today, and he's like, "Oh man, like I'm making the decision right now to to cancel school or not." And I was like, cancel school. That that that's your decision. He's like, Yeah, I get to play superintendent right now. And everybody <laughs> keeps texting me. All the kids, are we are we on or are we off? Because all the public schools canceled because of ice and it's like there's like dash eight here or something. Yeah. And so I just started getting in his ear. Man, roads are dangerous. Kids are driving to school. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> and he wound up canceling because all the other schools did. But uh so I had a snow day. So that was pretty awesome. That is crazy. That is crazy. I actually am scheduled to drive to Detroit tomorrow to do a little team building with a school up there. And yeah, I'm kind of like waiting by the phone to see if they even have school. Cause if they don't, then no school related activities. And so we'll see, we'll see if I actually make it up. Oh yeah. What school is it? It is a, it's a prep school. It's a prep school up there. And uh, I've been talking to them for a while now. It's Detroit Jesuit and really looking forward to working with those guys. And yeah, it, it'll be interesting. I'll hit Ann Arbor on the way and uh, might get my championship ring. I don't know. I don't know. They just got in the other day. So saw that, that on social media. That would be pretty sick. That would that be mass. pretty sick. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited, man. And uh, did I tell you about what happened this weekend though? Uh, I don't think so. So I, this weekend was unreal. And so I traveled to Phoenix, Arizona, Glendale, Arizona to hang out with Barry Smith for a couple of days. And Barry Smith, if you don't know who that is, he has seven Stanley cup rings as either a coach or being part of management. And he coached a long time with Scotty Bowman. And he's like widely regarded as one of like the smartest hockey people in the world. Like he goes and speaks at all these different places. And so I traveled out there for a couple of days just to do some professional development type stuff. And he's actually going to do some stuff with the hockey think tank too. So beware people. Hey, oh, where? Hey, oh, and just unbelievable, unbelievable hockey guys. So I spent two days out there, but getting out there was a disaster. So it was last Friday and it was like, you know, snow apocalypse and they canceled 600 flights. I think out of O'Hare that day, my flight was at 6 AM. So got there at like 4 45 and, you know, got to the gate. We went on the plane at like 5 15, 5 30, uh, got on, got off the gate, de-iced, all that good stuff, sat there in the runway for like an hour. Then we had to come back to the gate. (laughs) And then we went back out, got de-iced again, fueled up, like got sat on the runway. Like it ended up, I think we ended up leaving around 11 o'clock, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. So I was on the plane without taking off for about five hours. God. Yeah. Five hours. And then a three hour flight after that to Phoenix. And so that was, uh, that was interesting, but it was a phenomenal couple of days. Uh, just, you know, 
picking Barry's brain and, and collaborating and wow, like I got a PhD in hockey. Unbelievable. Worth it. Worth it. But man, you got your cheeks clapped hard. <laughs> that is, that is the nightmare, dude. I hate flying. I don't know how many of you guys are listening to this right now who also like, I didn't have any problem flying. I played in Japan for two years where we flew everywhere to every team. You know, the league was like uh, three or four different countries, four different countries. Flew everywhere all the time. AHL, we flew a decent amount, whatever. I can't stand it anymore. Like it is, it is like pulling teeth now. Do you find that or am I just crazy? No, I don't mind it. Yeah. You're just soft. Man. Dude, I I like I just hate the whole process now. I'm I'm over <laughs> that. I, I I literally will drive everywhere I can. Be interested to know like how anybody else feels about this because uh, one of my guys that I train at TPH, he played his first games in the Nall two weeks ago in the NAHL, had unbelievable uh, first game, first point, first assist, and they lost his bag on the way back. And they were like, we don't, they told him, we don't know where it is. And he was like, but I got a, I got a game in like four days. And they're like, yeah, just go up, buy all new equipment. And he's like, what, what? <laughs> like this completely lost his bag, had no idea where it is. I was like, that's, man, that's tough. So I was just wondering now with how flights are, like are, are more parents driving when they can or are people still flying or it'd be interesting. I'm interested. Well, I think a lot of people are driving because it's so dang expensive yeah. to, to fly, but I wasn't driving to Phoenix. Yeah, that, that would be a long one. I'll drive the five hours to Detroit tomorrow, but I <laughs> that's that's yeah. a day's trip. <laughs> yeah. Not, not going to do that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Facts. You ready? It's time. Is it time? I think it's time to release the demons. Okay, but first, we got some people to thank. We do. First, we got some people to thank. We're just going to push this a little (laughs) bit longer. Make you squirm. It's going to be in the show title, though, so people have will have some kind of idea what's going on. Uh, yeah. But anyways, uh, do, do have some people to thank. Want to thank Gel Sticks, our title sponsor. Go to gelstx.com. Go there and get a discount by using the coupon code Think Tank one word if you would like to purchase a weighted training stick. The pros use them. College teams use them. Junior teams use them. The national program uses them. Vex uses them in the gym. Phenomenal, phenomenal product. Go to gelstx.com to Use your coupon code Think Tank One Word and get that discount today. Vex. Woo! Thank you, Gel Sticks. Love you guys. Uh, want to thank Train Heroic. Train Heroic is the unbelievable app that allows me to train so many teams in season and off season for uh, incredibly low price for what we're able to deliver with it. So Train Heroic literally can't thank you enough for what you're helping me do for the hockey world. Uh, also want to thank Cure Nutrition. Cure Nutrition is a CBD company with. Uh, I'm with a uh, long time, long time hockey think tank uh, podcast listener reached out to me yesterday asking about CBD and and cured and which which products I suggested for him with some stuff he has going on. Uh, I know you're listening right now. What's up, big dog? Hopefully those come in the mail here soon. But if you have questions on CBD, reach out to me, DM me, ask any questions. And you can go to curednutrition.com, use my discount code GMBM to save that money. There we go. And thank you to Helios Hockey, an unbelievable product that is helping so many players in the hockey world today. What it is, is you get this sensor that you put in your shoulder pads and it gives you real-time feedback on your play, particularly when you're talking about stride mechanics and particularly when you're talking about how hard you're working out on the ice. Gives you, especially for those little kids, gives you a hustle score that they absolutely love based on your movement out there on the ice. But the game changer with them is you get the chance to have your shifts from your game all sectioned off immediately after the game on your phone, on your tablet. If you're using live barn uh, to shoot your video, you'll get it on your computer, whatever it may be. This is just a phenomenal, phenomenal product. So go to helioshockey.com. We have a discount code with them. Again, it is think tank one word. And if you do that, all new Helios members will get a discount on their first year membership. And you will get that sensor to put in your shoulder pads for free. So go ahead to helioshockey.com. Use that coupon code think tank one word and thank you to icehockeysystems.com. The best website out there for anything and everything coaching education. They have thousands of drills on there, whiteboard explanations from some very, very high level hockey people, the ability to draw up your drills, the ability to send them off to your team. And if you partner with us and you use the associations platform, with that partnership, 
you can get this for every coach within your organization. So imagine building an entire library of drills, systems, whiteboards, anything and everything that you want, where all of your coaches get access to it. Again, we want to make the world a much easier place, particularly for volunteer coaches who have a lot of other things going on. And then they get to the rink. This is just a phenomenal product to help you to do that. So go to the associations platform, get this for all of your coaches and all of your parents, because they have access to the hockey think tank parent survival guide. It's the only place that it's housed guys. The only place that the Hockey Think Tank Parent Survival Guys is housed is on icehockeysystems.com and getting that through the associations platform. So not only just the coaches, but all the parents as well. Very, very, very big value add. So thank you, thank you to icehockeysystems.com and thank you so much to all of you, all of our listeners out there. And with this, guys, like it's a culmination, like honestly, like what we're about to talk about is the culmination of how much we love you, how much we love interacting with you, how much support that we've gotten from you and how much support we give you guys too, based on the feedback that we get from everybody. And so just honestly, like from the bottom of X and I's heart and Steph too, like, thank you for, thank you for being on this ride with us. I can't believe we've been doing this for over five years. We're almost at 300 episodes now. We're very, very close to 300. And yeah, man, like this is uh, what we're about to talk to you guys about. We think is going to be an absolute game changer in the hockey world. We think it's going to be an absolute game changer of the hockey world. Our why, our mission is to make the hockey world a better place and to educate and inspire uh, anybody and everybody that we can get in front of. And so what we're about to say is going to accomplish just that, Vex. We're putting, our, oh, <laughs> putting our money where our mouth is, guys, and we're diving in. And uh, so without further ado, we are now going to talk about this little super secret thing that we've been floating on social media, this thing that we've been kind of talking a little bit about, but not too much about uh, on our podcast. We've kind of letting everybody know, first of all, like the amount of texts and direct messages, DMs for those of you who are in the know that I have gotten, Vex, I'll let you talk about it here too. Over the past like three weeks since we started laying these breadcrumbs have been absolutely hilarious. Number one, the amount of people that have reached out and number two, just like, it's honestly like, it's so cool. Like so many people were like, dude, I don't care what it is. I'm in, I don't care what it is. I'm in. And that just like, just like makes me feel so good that people are like that supportive of, of what we've been trying to do in our mission here with the hockey think tank and our podcast in particular. And so just really have appreciated that over the, have you been getting that too, man? Like it's been hilarious. Oh, yeah. Uh, NHL players, that. college yeah. coaches, college players, parents, like youth kids, coaches, parents, everybody. it's like everybody. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that it just, honestly, I think it just speaks to the the value that we've been putting out for five years. You know, Tolf and I literally like, you know, we, we literally started this thing with one goal in mind to just like try and give out as much free information as we could, you know, and, and we've done that pretty effing consistently for five years and i'm excited for now for maybe it to go from uh, a one-sided conversation to maybe a little bit of an actual conversation with our listeners mm. what, what would that mean, mean? Jeffrey? What i don't even mean, know what Jeffrey? i don't even know what that looks like <laughs> you <laughs> all right guys so what we have made and what we are going to be doing here moving forward is we have created an online digital community for anybody and everybody that wants to be a little bit more educated, a little bit more inspired uh, about the game of hockey. And so like literally when I started this thing, this little passion project, the hockey think tank, which didn't have a name for the first little bit, like literally the first things I did, do you remember I was just posting stuff on Twitter? Yeah. Like all I was really doing was just like posting stuff on Twitter and then that turned into some other things. And then I contacted you. I was like, Hey, let's do the podcast, which led to some other things, a website and stuff. And, and when I first kind of started doing that and had like started putting some work into it, like I was like, the one word that always came to mind was community. The one word that always came to mind was community. And I know how much leaning on other people and how much mentorship meant to me in my journey as a player, as a coach, 
you know, with my parents as, as hockey parents, you know, it, it really does. It takes a village, man. Like it absolutely takes a village. And I wanted to create something where really passionate, really like-minded hockey people uh, who are positive, who are enthusiastic about the game can all come together and collaborate, all come together and share ideas, all come together and, and get perspective about this game and, and help them on their journey wherever they are at on their journey. If you're a player and, and you need some help with becoming your best as a player and, and ultimately reaching your dreams. If you're a parent and you're really trying to help your player to achieve their dreams. But as we all know, the, the youth hockey journey is filled with a lot of ups and downs and uncertainties. And, you know, Vex and I, we get questions daily from parents. Hey, can I get some advice on this? Hey, can I get some advice on this? I don't understand this. Like, and so this is going to be a huge part of that. And then for coaches too, come and share your ideas come and get some perspective um, on, on anything and everything that has to do with coaching. We're talking about leadership. We're talking about X's and O's. We're talking about motivation, building culture. And so we wanted to provide the hockey world with a community where we can share some stuff together. So I wrote a little something. I wrote a little something because like, this is, this is our why this is particularly my why. And I wrote a little something to, to really kind of signify how I feel about this and and kind of what this means to me and again like the the name hockey think tank means the world to me it means something and i know it means something to a lot of other people out there in the hockey world and and for me i, I think it does mean community at the end of the day you know think tank i chose to to name it think tank because that's kind of what a think tank is it's when passionate people kind of come together and share ideas and, and make something a little bit better and that's exactly what we're trying to do we're trying to come around share ideas to make individual lives better but ultimately at the end of the day i think we're on a macro level going to make the hockey world better too so i'm going to read a little something here real quick you ready You're already making me tear up <laughs> okay when I first started the hockey think tank, the one word that always came front and center was community. I wanted to create a place where passionate hockey people could share ideas, gain valuable perspective, and learn from other like-minded people who absolutely love the game. We now have that place. I think our hockey think tank community will change the game for any hockey coach, parent, or player looking to join a positive, uplifting, enthusiastic group. Our community will provide all of our teammates and all of our members with an experience that will add so much value to their hockey experience, ultimately make the game we all love infinitely better. I cannot wait to collaborate with you. Topher. Thoughts. <laughs> that was a different goal. Oh, or... yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a little... Oh, interesting. Right. There we go. <laughs> pitched. Hit that high C. I like that. Um, I love it, man. I love it. I, I, and... I think this is really going to make the think tank uh, live up to its name and now a community aspect, whereas, you know, it's been more of a analysis and experts and guests that we've had on and a think tank in that way. And now it's going to be able to anybody can come on the page who's a part of this and can put their thoughts down and we can talk back and forth and and just all try to grow together. And I, I what you what you've done, man. It's it's really, really cool what you built. It's really cool to be a part of it. And uh, I'm really excited to see where this goes and, and ultimately where I know this is going to go in a year, two years, and five years and, and being able to create some, I think it's going to be some of the most badass hockey conferences ever down the line as we grow this community and this family and this world uh, of people that are just like looking to help each other and get better. So I'm I'm extremely honored to be a part of it and excited for this. Yeah, man. I, I'm, I see kind of like where it is right now. I see where it's going to go. And, and, and honestly, like, you know, we talk about the support that we get from everybody out there and our podcast numbers like continue to grow, you know, seemingly every week. And that's because of you guys, that's because of you sharing us. That's because of you guys kind of putting us in front of other people. And, and with that, like just, again, it's, it's people helping people and it's people, you know, providing unbelievably invaluable insight because at the end of the day, right? Like one, there's a couple things that are going to happen here. Number one is like the people who join this community are going to get access to us, right? 
you and me, and we're going to be there for everybody. We're going to be putting out a lot of different things on here. We're going to answer all of your questions. Like it's going to be unbelievable, but also there's going to be a lot of people in this community who have walked in the shoes that you're in right now. And, and sometimes Vex and I, we're giving our quote unquote expert opinion to people, but we've never lived it. Like we've never been the parent of a midget hockey player who is stressed out and doesn't know what to do in the middle of their 18 U year with their kid who do I go play junior high? Like, what do I do now? There's going to be people where you can pose this to our entire community and then you can get some unbelievable advice and insight from people who have done it before, you know, and, and like, that's like, you get to talk to us and we're going to be a huge part of this along with some of our, our friends that we're going to bring into this as well. but also. Like that's the coolest part about it. It's connecting great hockey people from all over the world. Like how cool is that? How cool is that? Because we know that this podcast reaches all over the world based on the numbers that we get. We can see where it's, where people are listening and stuff. But like, again, it is a community where like-minded hockey people can number one, like get some perspective from other people who have been through it, but also share their expertise, share their expertise and, and, and opinions and share the things that they've been through that can help potentially somebody else out. It's such a two way street. And like you said, it's, it's not just you and I talking on a podcast to people. Now we get to talk with people. Right. And, and we're going to talk a little bit uh, about some of the cool things that we're going to be doing within this community. But that's the thing that I'm most excited about is, you know, we say it every episode, we love your feedback, right? Like anytime you can leave us a rating or a review or you shoot us an email, whatever, like we truly mean that we love getting that feedback because we want to be better every day. But now that is going to be an avenue for us to like really get some feedback and really hear from you guys on, on what you're going through in the hockey world. And uh, with, again, whether you're a coach, whether you're a player, whether you're a parent, whatever it may be. And so we're just like really, really excited for this two-way conversation. We're really excited to hear from you guys and for you guys ultimately to hear from each other. I think that's going to be honestly like the coolest part about it. I was on mute. Uh, <laughs> that happens every now and then. Yeah, I mean, I think I think the biggest thing is going from you know two people talking at thousands of people to bringing hopefully thousands of people together to all talk with each other, all talk to each other, share experiences, you know, connect. For me, like the coolest thing ever, you know, if I go to a youth rink out of town somewhere and there's teams that are listening to podcasts and they come up and start talking to me and talk about the podcast. We're like now we can do that, you know, every day, every day uh, with, with the people who listen to us and ask us direct questions and have way more access to like us answering your questions. Like, like we're going to be taking more of our show topics and ideas too from this community who we are directly speaking to daily. What do you guys in this community want to hear? Because that, those are the things that we want to be talking about. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, so just want to give you guys a little bit uh, more insight into what this is. And like, this is going to be very heavily moderated. This is not going to be a community where, you know, those stupid, like, you know, those like anonymous you know, message board type stuff. <laughs> You know, like there's a, there's going to be a process to, to getting into these communities. Um, and, and it's, you know, we're not going to have people selling stuff on here. That's not what this is about. This isn't like, you know, paid ads or any stupid stuff like that. Um, this is going to be about people connecting at the end of the day. And so we are going to be very proactive on putting some things out there that will help all of us connect and help us to share some perspective. So I'm really excited to share with you guys kind of like the method to the madness of how this is going to work. And so every single day, so Monday through Friday, and then Saturday, we're going to be doing some fun stuff too, but every single day is going to have a theme. Every single day is going to have a theme. And so every Monday is called motivation Monday. It's going to be motivation Monday, and it's going to be all about how can we get the most out of ourselves right? How can we get the most out of ourselves? So we will provide a little bit of a prompt, a thing to get the conversation going. And then people again can share their experiences, you know, about whatever that prompt is. And so Monday is going to be all about how can we get the best out of ourselves, which I think isn't like, I would do this just for that. <laughs> I would honestly do this just for that. 
Tuesdays is going to be Tactics Tuesdays. This is going to be Tactics Tuesdays. And this is going to be for anybody that really wants to get into the nitty gritty and the ins and outs of the game of hockey. So we're talking drills. We're talking structure. We're talking about, we're going to talk hockey this day and coaches or even parents that are really, really interested. Like you're going to get a ton of perspective. And again, every morning we're going to put a prompt out there and then it'd be awesome for all the coaches or even the parents that are interested to share ideas, right? Share ideas of how, like maybe the prompt is something about the penalty kill. Maybe the prompt is something about skating. Maybe the prompt is something about uh, defensive development, whatever it may be. And it's going to be a very heavy hockey day, which I think is really going to be a lot of fun. And so that's going to be Tuesday, Tactics Tuesday. Wednesday is going to be Wellness Wednesday. Wellness Wednesday, all about physical and mental health. And I think my friend over on the other side of the screen there, who's doing something with his eyebrows right now, I'm not really sure what that is. <laughs> hot, hot guy Wednesdays. <laughs> hot guy Wednesdays. So Wellness Wednesdays is all going to be about maximizing your physical and mental health. It's going to be all about maximizing your physical and mental health and providing you with tips, providing you with inspiration, providing you with insight on how you can really, really, really maximize your physical and mental health. And if you've listened to our podcast at all, you know that Vex and I, but particularly Vex, is so incredibly passionate about this. And again, you're not just hearing from Vex here, you're hearing from our entire community on, on these types of things. And I think it's especially, especially relevant for the mental health side of things as well, because we all know life ain't easy. <laughs> and sometimes it just takes a little bit of perspective from somebody that you might not even know. Maybe it's something in a book. Maybe it's something in a song. Maybe it's something you see on social media or TV, or maybe it's something that you're going to see now in this community that can help you to get out of whatever thing you're going to need to get out of, right? And so it's all about wellness, physical and mental health. That's going to be Wednesday. Thursday is going to be a, an interesting one. Thursday is going to be hilarious. We are calling Thursday Therapy Thursday. We're calling Thursday Therapy Thursday, and this is for any and all questions and we will provide a prompt, obviously, at the beginning of this, but how to navigate the youth hockey world, how to navigate the youth hockey world. And we call this Therapy Thursday because I feel like I need therapy in the youth hockey world. <laughs> and I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there that need that too. So us asking some prompting questions or anybody that's in the community, if you have questions about you know, things that you're struggling with or things that your kids are struggling with. If you're a coach, something that you, you, you know, you can't really understand, maybe it's a parent issue. Maybe it's an issue with your organization, you know, whatever, like this is going to be a day where we can answer a ton of different questions that can help you on your journey in this hockey world. So we're calling that therapy Thursday. And then Friday is going to be Friday fun day, baby. Friday is going to be Friday fun day. And we are going to do a lot of fun things on this one. Interactions with Vex and I, we're going to do interactions with each other, games, competitions, like all this fun stuff um, that we really want to end the week with as everybody goes into their weekends and into their games and, and stuff like that. So, uh, Friday is going to be Friday fun day. And then Saturday, we're just going to have some fun stuff to do too. It's a little bit more of a wild card, but yeah, Monday through Monday through Friday, particularly, man, it's going to be, um, us moderating it, us putting information out there and then the community sharing their expertise, the community, the community sharing their perspective and us interacting with you guys as you do it. Like we're, we're fully in there, man. And, uh, so I think like, I'm excited, I'm excited for kind of like this layout and excited to kind of go through these days throughout the week and, uh, and really getting to know a lot of you guys out there in this community. Woo! Absolutely. And, and, Probably going to see a lot of stupid videos in my face uh, uh, doing video <laughs> recordings to talk to you guys, too, and pose questions. And uh, so hope you're ready for that, because as of now, probably most of you only listen to us uh, audio. Now you get the video, too. So you're welcome, guys. You're going to have some fun with that. What can I say except you're welcome? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so that's going to be kind of like the layout of how it's going to work and how cool does that sound? Like I, I'm like getting excited right now. I'm actually yeah. getting excited right now and stay till the end. Cause we have some more things that we're going to talk about, but stay to the end to like, we're, we're going to tell you exactly how, how this is going to work in terms of getting into this community and what it's going to look like that process. Um, so stay till the end. A couple other things that I want to talk about. Uh, I wrote down some words. I wrote down some words of like almost like a word cloud of what I see this community as. Okay. 
Um, again, this is not a community for people to hawk items and 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 advertise for themselves. This is not a community for people to come and complain, you know, about their you know their organization or other organizations in their area or whatever. Like this isn't one of those stupid message boards. Like this, these words is what I believe this community is going to be. Ready, Vex? Let's hear it. Okay. Optimism. Community collaboration, positivity, enthusiasm, gratitude, teamwork, perspective, fun, no BS, <laughs> access, and, and, and at the end of the day, mentorship. I think mentorship is, is a big one. And that's actually like a question I thought it'd be really interesting for the two of us to kind of talk about. I had a question for you. Like, I'm such a big believer in mentorship like everything that I read, all the things that I watch of like these really successful people, just thinking back on my own journey, like I couldn't have, again, we can't do it alone. And having great mentors is like a huge part of like gaining perspective in your own profess professional and personal development. So like, I wanted to ask you, like, what's a mentor story that you have? Like maybe somebody that helped you gain some of that perspective that allowed you to be who you are today. Outside of mom and dad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I feel like I've told this one on the podcast, but it's been a long time since. And I'm pretty sure he's a coach in the NHL now, which is hilarious. Jay Verde. Yeah. He, uh, he is. He, he was playing, I believe, at – he was either at Ferris or Union. I don't remember which, which school he went to. For some reason, I feel like it was Union. And uh, I didn't know who he was. I think I was probably like uh, a, a bantam. Um. And he was home for Christmas break. He used to play for, for my old coach at the time, Scott Sanderson, when he was younger. So he came home to like stay in shape and he came out and like he taught our team so much stuff. You know, this is a guy, current guy who was in college hockey and I didn't know any college hockey players. I didn't know any college hockey players from St. Louis, barely knew what college hockey was. And he took time to come out multiple times over that break. And then a few more times over the next couple of years to our team and, and skate with us. And I just thought it was so cool that an older guy who grew up where I was from and was at, you know, multiple levels above us was coming back to tell us and help us. And, you know, I knew he wasn't being paid or anything. And like, I literally never forgot that. And I, when I got to juniors, I was like, I want to be like that Jay Verde guy who came a couple times. And I went back from when I left St. Louis uh, to play juniors at 17, every single summer for the rest of my life, I've like done as much as I can to help youth hockey in St. Louis through, you know, different ways, like coaching spring league in the summers. Um, when I was playing in juniors in college, my tenure pro career out of it, I would coach a spring league every single spring um, because that was when I would be home and have time and stuff. And like, it was just, it literally, I look back and it was all because of this, this like Jay Verde guy who I had no idea who he was. And I just thought him coming and teaching us a bunch of stuff and being a mentor to us, was like the coolest thing ever. Um, and, and it set me on this path to love coaching, honestly, like Jay Verde, random. But uh, cool. now he's a coach in the NHL, with, you know, so wild. Well, was, I mean, but pretty cool. You know why? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he did stuff like that and he lived that way. So for me, I understand how important mentorship is. And then obviously I've had so many unbelievable mentors in my life. But like mentors help you get there quicker help you get there stronger, help you get there as the best version of you that you can be at that time. And good mentors help you to like develop, you know, kind of like round out your skills and like where you don't know that you have these blind spots. Mentors can kind of help you realize those and guide you in the right direction. And for me, like mentorship, I, you know, look back and I would rather have done mentorships and go to college you know, like in-depth <laughs> mentorship. So it would, would have done more for me. So for me, mentors are everything. Love that. Love that. Um, so with that, I think that's going to be a big, again, we're, we're going to be a group of people helping people, <clears throat> a group of people helping people. And it, it's interesting as we were kind of going through this, like the one thing that really kind of hit me, I guess you can say, was I was doing a parent information session about a month ago with a team here in Chicago mm -hmm. And I had a dad come up to me and his literal, and I think I might've said this before, but like, he was like, where were you five years ago? You know, I needed you five years ago. 
And, and I think that a lot of, not just parents, but I think a lot of coaches feel that way. They, they almost feel like they're on an Island and they, they kind of think that like they're going through the stress and kind of nobody else it like, you know, they, they internalize it and, and they're, they're confused and they're trying to figure out what the best thing to do is for their kids or for themselves. And, and like, again, like this is what, this is what we're creating and this is why we're creating it. No longer will you have to almost like sit there in silence (laughs) and try to figure it out on your own. Like this is a community of passionate, like-minded hockey people all the way up and all the way down ton of different roles, parents, players, coaches, probably a little bit more tailored towards the coaches and the parents. Um, but like never will you have to feel like you can't have a say, never will you feel like you can't ask the question for fear of, you know, retribution from the organization. You know, if it's a question that you have of the organization, you know, now we have this community of Vex and myself and some of our, you know, high profile, let's call it friends and, and this army of, you know, other hockey coaches, other hockey parents that can help you to fill in the gaps. And Vex, like I know for you, it's very similar to me again. Like we get questions every day from stressed out, hockey people that want what's best for their kids, right? Like literally every day, whether it's through a DM, whether it's through a text for people, I know emails, whatever, like this, like I was thinking about it and I'm like, this is like the antidote to FOMO. This is like the antidote to FOMO, honestly, is what part of this community's mission is, is to provide that insight, provide that perspective and inspiration to people who feel alone who feel like they they're not sure what they do, who feel like this whole youth hockey journey is psycho and they don't want to get to be psycho, but they'll have to be psycho if it means that their kid will achieve their dream. You know what I mean? Achieve their dreams. I feel like that's every hockey parent in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. Look at those psychos. I don't want to be that psycho, but I, I'm starting to be that psycho. Do I have to be that psycho? I don't want to be that psycho. Yeah. Yeah. And same with coaches, honestly, too. Like coaches, you know, get into it and they're like, I want to help develop kids. And then they feel pressure to win. And then they feel like, but we're going to just provide like so much perspective and insight. And I'm, I'm excited to, to do a lot of stuff with the hockey coaches too, from like a hockey development standpoint too, and help make your practices better, you know, help you to build your culture and, and things like that. So um, yeah, man, I, I do. I feel like this is like the antidote to, to FOMO for a lot of people that are trying to figure out the hockey world, particularly the youth hockey world. Love it. Cannot <laughs> wait. Let's deliver those shots, baby. Okay. Uh, so now a couple perks ready for a couple perks. Hi. All right. A couple perks that everybody in the community is going to get from being a part of this community, specifically as it relates to the podcast. So number one, we're going to do a monthly zoom call. We're going to pick a topic. We're going to pick a title and Vex and myself and a couple other people we know we're going to do a monthly Zoom call where we can hang out with you guys. Maybe do it over a beer or two, you know, just talk some hockey, talk some life and uh, and really just get to know each other, which I think will be really, really cool. So we'll do a monthly Zoom call where you get the chance to hang out with us. We're really excited about that. If you did remember, our last episode was 10 questions, right? Last episode was 10 questions. Vax and I had a lot of fun with that one. So one of the things that you're going to get by being a part of this community is at the end of every single one of our interviews now. So every time we have a guest on, we're going to do 10 questions with them. A quick 10 questions. It's not going to be a whole episode. It's maybe five, 10 minutes. A quick 10 questions with every guest that we're doing. That is not going to actually air on that podcast. That is only going to air in this community. Right. And so that's just uh, another little perk for everybody for, for coming into this community. Uh, you also will have access to our short shifts live. So we are going to let the community know the time that we're going to be recording. You'll get to hang out with us and hop on with us as we do our short shifts live, which will be pretty cool. You get to see how big of meatheads we are <laughs> as, we're, as we're doing this. And Vex is probably going to just try to make me laugh the whole time now, <laughs> but it'll be, it'll be hilarious. I love it. Yeah. And then uh, another thing is for everything that we're going to do in the future. And like we have grand plans of doing some conferences and and doing some personal professional development type stuff um, in person, specifically, 
you know, and so everybody that's a part of this community is going to be heavily discounted in, in those types of things that we're going to do in the future as well. So, um, yeah, just, we really wanted to incentivize, like, again, this is a community and we want to get to know you more. We want to incentivize you guys a little bit and, and really just reward the people who've supported us for, for so long. And there are so many people who we can't wait to interact with who've been fans or listeners of the podcast for, for five years. And so, um, yeah, those are just, uh, some perks that, uh, that our community will get on top of the ability to, to share ideas and get perspective from everybody. Like we had just been talking about. So any thoughts on those Vex? Man, I'm, I'm excited for the live short shifts. That's going to be, that's going to be fun. It's going to be hilarious. That is going to be so much fun. Yeah, it's going to take that. it's going to take a turn. I don't know if it's for the better or for the worse, but it's going to take a turn. Now that it's, it's going to be, be live be awesome. <laughs> for some people. Uh, yeah. I'm just so, excited to provide some more uh I hate the word content, but provide people some more some more content from from us and our guests and some extra stuff um for the people that are looking for more of that, especially when we have on some of these amazing guests like getting out some more information. And when, when we put out the guests we're having on people in this community can, you know, at, tell us what they want to ask them in types of things like these, you know, so we can get more dialed into specificity here for your guys' current situations to help you even more. So for me, that's going to be pretty cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then, so how this is going to work. Okay. How this is going to work. So, What you have to do now is go to our show notes at the bottom of this podcast or go to the hockey thinking hockey think tank.com. Thank you very much, Miss Lippy. Uh, and, and check out the community tab. All right. So check out the community tab and all the information will be on there for registration. And so again, go to the show notes here. If you're on your phone, there'll be a link on the bottom of the show notes or just go to the hockey think tank.com and you can register from there. So how, kind of like the nuts and bolts of what this is going to be. So this is going to be a paid Facebook community. Okay. So we're running this through Facebook. And it, the reason why we chose Facebook is because first of all, so many people are already on there. <laughs> so many people are already on there and are familiar with it. And it just creates a nice layout to be able to do everything that we're trying to do and, and accomplish like the lives, um, be able to put videos on there, be able to interact and talk with different people and stuff like that. So this is going to be a paid Facebook group and the payment structure for this. And again, like, you know, we've been giving out free, (laughs) free information and content for a long time. And, you know, part of the reason we're doing this paid community is we really want people to put some skin in the game that are coming in here. Again, this isn't going to be a community where people just come just to, you know, slot their ideas out there. Like we want people to be really invested into this and to share information that's actually going to help people. So having people put a little bit of a skin into the game, I think is going to help um, with that. And so the the structure that we're going to do from a payment standpoint is we have a monthly and we have a yearly. Okay. So the monthly cost for doing this is 25 bucks. So you can do that every month if you want to or try it out for the first month and, and go from there. Or you can do a yearly, which for 25 bucks ends up being $300. Now for this week, and you guys will see this all over social media, we want to help support and reward our ride or dies. We want to help support like all of the people who truly, truly believe in what we're doing here. So for this week, for our ride or die supporters, we are going to make that cost 50% off for the annual plan. 50% off for that annual plan. So it's only 150 bucks for the entire year. Okay. Only 150 bucks for that entire year. And so again, like this is something that, you know, we did not like, we're not making a living off of this by any means. <laughs> it's going to help with the kids college fund. And I got three girls and I got to pay for weddings and stuff like that. Um, but we wanted to make it very, very reasonable for people. Um, so anybody and everybody who does have a passion for this game can join this community and be a part of something bigger than themselves. Right. And so for our rider dies, like I said, you're getting 50% off. It's only 150 bucks for the year. And, um, yeah, that's, that's the payment structure for this. So go to hockey think t- or the hockey think tank.com, or just go to the show notes below and there will be a registration page for interest. So you go there, you kind of enter your information. We do a bunch of stuff on the back end for you and 
be a part of our community, man. Be, like that, like I love the word community. Like literally, like five years ago, six years ago, whatever it was, when this little inkling of an idea came to my head about this hockey think tank, it was all about community and and just collaboration. And so we're here. We're here. And so love you guys. Really, really, really hope you join us on this on this community journey. Vex. Yeah, and I, I would encourage you guys to to check it out. You know, I mean, it's uh, it's a cost of like what one Starbucks cup of coffee a month, twenty five <laughs> bucks. You know, basically, in, in the world today. So, uh, our goal is always to over deliver and provide as much value as we can. And this is just another way for us to be able to provide even more value and spend even more time on this project. You know, that's what this is going to allow us to do, and 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 bring you guys more stuff that's going to help you in the ways that. You know, I'm sure we wish that we could have been helped when we were coming up uh, in the youth hockey scene. So super excited. If anybody has any questions, reach out to us. Don't yeah. be afraid to reach out to us. DM, text, email, fax, whatever, and uh, ask any questions you want. And and really excited to get this bad boy off the ground here. Absolutely. This The hockey world is such an amazing place, man. And that's the thing that's really too bad. There's so many amazing people in the hockey world, and it's so insane that the hockey world can be so toxic with the amount of amazing hockey people. This community will help the hockey world become less toxic. This community will help the hockey world to really just level up, man, really level up. I think this is going to change the game. I really think this is going to change the game. I think this is going to help a lot of people sleep at night. <laughs> based on the you know the you know the insecurities they have within the hockey world it, it's going to make people better um in whatever it is that they need to or want to get better at and again these words optimism community collaboration enthusiasm gratitude teamwork fun perspective no bs mentorship like this is what this is this is what we're about and we have finally have something that can help us to achieve this mission that we have to make the hockey world a better place and so we love you so much we hope you want to join us in this venture that we're doing the hockey think tank community go to the show notes. It's going to be all over social media this week. So you know if you're on social media, especially Vex has a blue check mark and 111,000 followers on Instagram if you're counting. Uh, you'll, you'll see it all over there too, but reach out with any questions and we hope to see you guys on this wild ride with us.